Hello friends. Today's video is an Instagram chooses my makeup. And honestly, you guys chose really well. Thank you to everyone that participated in the polls on my Instagram. Check out my Instagram as well, especially if you want any bookings for tarot. I do tarot readings, 30 minutes and 60 minutes. And all of that information on how to book and everything is on that Instagram highlight on my page. This is the only like foundation type product that matches me right now. So just to save time, I went ahead and pit put that on. I'm going to start with my eyes first. So I've already primed my lids and set with the Rare Beauty Powder, another product that you guys chose. So I'll zoom you guys in. So just to put some color in the crease, I'm gonna take my Patrick Ta um, Sculpting Duo, taking the powder bronzer. I'm just gonna quickly run that in my socket. So for the eye look, I'm taking the Split Pan Wet Liner from Glisten Cosmetics in Buff. It's this one, like two neutral tones. And I'm taking this brush from Glisten Cosmetics, the number four brush. And I have a little bit of water right next to me. So I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna go into this darker brown color first. Well, <laughs> they came out like slightly different shapes, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, so I've cleaned off my brush and I'm gonna go into the lighter nude color and go on the inside part and just outline it. Okay, now I'm gonna just add some like random little dots everywhere. I'm taking this Glisten Cosmetics number one brush. It's like the tiniest little detail brush. Okay, going in with the lighter color one more time. I think what I wanna do, I'll put some dots like up here. I feel like I should put some on this side. Let's do like right here. Okay, now I kind of agree with you guys. Now I kind of see why you chose the water activated liners. These are so fun. So next step, I'm gonna start with concealer and you guys chose my all time favorite concealer, the Kosas Revealer Concealers. And of course I will leave all the details of everything that I'm using down below, shades and everything. And I mix uh, 5.5 and 4.5 to get my perfect shade. Okay, and I like to let my concealer sit for like a minute before blending it in. So let's go ahead and do eyebrows. So you guys chose the e.l.f. Brow Lift. This is a clear like gel. Yeah, and this is the brow lift applicator, the brush that is designed for this product. So I just scoop a little bit out like so, and I put it in the cap, and I'll just brush a little bit of it on the ends of my brows, cause that's where I want the most lift. And I like to let that sit for like a couple of seconds, just to start drying down a little bit. And then with the leftover product and the spoolie, I just kinda tap the spoolie and the rest to coat it, and then I'll start placing the hairs how I want it. And that's it. Pretty quick and easy. If I feel like um, I need to fill in some sparse areas, I'll go in with my Milani weekend brow, but I'm not really feeling it today. So let's go ahead and blend out this concealer. And this is a sponge from DSMD. I 
I mean, y'all see how much of a difference that makes. This concealer, it's my favorite concealer of all time for good reason. It has a lot of skincare ingredients, so if you have dry under eyes, it's for you. It's really nice. So I'm actually gonna go in with highlighter before bronzer and blush just because these ones that you guys chose are like super pigmented and super powerful and they can kind of overpower other products that you have on your face. So I like to apply these first before the bronzer and blush. So these are the About Face Light Lock Fluids. I've talked about these before, my favorite highlighters of all time, so reflective, and I have the shades Shake and Stirred and Fight or Flight. I'm actually gonna mix these two. So again, this is Shake and Stirred and this is Fight or Flight. So Fight or Flight is definitely like more pinky. Shake and Stirred is golden. I'm just gonna mix these two together. This is definitely way too much. You need like, this actually like might be too much. Like seriously, this is, So this is the highlighter on. Oh, I just love her. You guys have good taste. But my face is looking like way too flat and pale for my liking. So let's go ahead and do some bronzer. And I gave you guys the options of either choosing the cream or powder from the Patrick Ta um, Sculpting Duo in She's Sculpted. And you guys chose the cream side. So let's just do a little bit of contour. And this is an e.l.f. Um, I believe this is either the blending brush or the blending concealer brush. I really like this to get the hollows. Honestly, I need to find like a new bronzer. I'm kind of thinking of getting the LYS uh, stick bronzer that they came out with like a couple weeks ago it looks really nice and I'm a dry girl I love creams it's like all I wear so I need something like that I mean this is nice I love this duo it's a bit on the pricier side but it's really good quality you get a lot of product and a powder and cream so I really like this I just like to switch it up sometimes or get like a slightly different color you know And I like to take this fluffy e.l.f. brush, just dip into the cream just a tiny little bit, and then go over one last time just to make sure that it's all blended into the highlight. There's no patchiness. And just make everything very diffused and seamless. Now for blush, you guys chose my favorite blush of all time thank you so much it's the rare beauty soft pinch liquid blush in encourage it's this beautiful pinky mauve tone you'll see you'll see now blush placement i've been doing like where you place the blush like right here and kind of over the nose in the center of the face but i think today i'm gonna try to keep everything you know more uplifted so I just take this It Cosmetics um, Complexion Perfection brush, put some, and you just need a little bit. These blushes, super pigmented, uh, such a pretty color. And I'm just going to work that in. Basically, kind of put it like on top of my highlight. I went light-handed today. I kind of wanted a more bronzy, neutral look i didn't want it to look too pink you know okay what's next now powder it was between the rare beauty setting powder or the elf prime and set finishing powder that's also like a really good one i haven't really used this one much mostly because the color um honestly is not my favorite. I really like the formula of this. It's super lightweight, not cakey. Doesn't make your under eyes look dry or anything. But if I'm being honest, like I don't really use this underneath my eyes. Uh, I have the shade light medium and I'm definitely like a medium girl, especially when you look at my 
the tone of my body, but I just think that this light medium color is actually like a bit too warm. So I don't use it under the eyes. I'll use it to set my eye primer and just like lightly just take like the tiniest little bit and put it on a fluffy brushes from elf and just kind of go over i avoid like the highlight area of course i have really dry under eyes and they need all the moisture they can get and the kosas concealer provides that moisture so i don't want to take that away but i am going to set everywhere else pause this is the face so far what do we think i'm really liking it i like i'm liking the tones especially with this green top okay so before mascara and lips i'm going to set my face with the milk makeup hydro grip setting spray best setting spray ever now for mascara, it was between the Rare Beauty Mascara or the Ilia Mascara, and you guys chose Rare Beauty. Don't blame you. This is my favorite mascara of all time. It's never let me down. So this is what the brush looks like. So this one basically does it all. It lengthens, it volumes, it holds a curl pretty well. Uh, I didn't curl my lashes today because didn't really feel like it. My lashes just don't really hold a curl very well in general. They like to sit straight, but super black. This one does not smudge. I've worn it for like 12 plus hours before and it does not smudge. So it's just reliable, dependable, and I know it's $20, so it is on the pricier side for mascaras, but I definitely think it's worth it and this one is my original one that I bought like months ago. I know you're only supposed to keep them for like three months, but it hasn't dried out. So like, why would I throw it out? The makeup expiration dates, like how long you're supposed to keep product. I'll just like stop signs. I'll just take that as a suggestion. Wow, mascara just really pulls together the whole eye look and wow we're at the end already okay so last thing lips so it was between the about face matte fix lip pencils and the nyx lip pencils i have both the suede matte and the slim lip pencils and you guys chose both <laughs> uh this was the only one that you guys had a hard time deciding um it was 50-50 for these, so I'm gonna use both. And it works out, so I don't have to use a lipstick. I'll just use these to line my lips and fill in my lips. So I'm feeling a Smoking Room by About Face to line my lips. I'll just do a little swatchy poo. So that is Smoking Room from About Face, just the perfect nude. And what I love about these is that they glide on so easily, but they do set down and last all day. Now we are spoiled for choice when it comes to the NYX ones. I do wanna add like a slightly darker color. Maybe we'll take the color Mason from the Suede Matte Lip Liners. So this is Mason from the Suede Matte Lip Liners from NYX. And you guys wanted me to pair this look with a glossy lip instead of a matte lip. And I have a couple options. We have the e.l.f. plumping lip glosses. We got some Venti Beauty, Tower 28, NYX Butter Gloss, and the Bite Beauty Yay Sayer plumping lip glosses. I just got this new butter gloss. Well, it's not new. It's new to me. Um, in the shade Butterscotch from NYX. These smell like cake batter. Mm, and I've been using these for years. These are really nice. They're like pretty pigmented glosses, but they definitely feel more like a cream. 
they're not very watery. They're definitely more of a cream texture of a gloss. Wow, guys. I feel like so pretty in this look. You guys did that. Thank you so much for all of your suggestions, for your choices, for voting. I think we killed it. Honestly, I'm surprised it kind of came out like more monochromatic than I thought it was, but wow, this lip combination, I might have to do that again because I really love how this gloss is looking with the lip liners. Wow, awesome. This was actually really fun. Like this video if you would like to see one of these in the future sometime. And I'm sending you guys so much love and light. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.